Good morning and welcome to today's Facecast. In case you're wondering, we had a relatively quiet night regarding the pigeon. It still lives, unfortunately, um, but we'll see how we go on with that. Time will tell. There's a story that's oft told, a story of two men who grew up in the same town together, went to the same school together, and their lives took different paths when they left school and went out into the world of work. One went to university, became a successful lawyer, then a barrister, and then a judge. The other went in the other direction. He became a criminal. Now, before long, the criminal was up in court before the judge. And the judge recognised his old school friend. He had pity on him. But this criminal had committed some crimes. And it wouldn't have been right if the judge just let him off. Just because he knew him, he was an old school friend of him. Maybe even because he took pity on him. He still had to convict him of his crimes and issue a punishment of some kind. And he, he did so, and he issued a, a fine that the man had to pay. But then a strange thing happened. The judge stepped out of his bench and he came down with his checkbook to where the man was standing. And he wrote out a cheque for the amount of the fine. He paid the fine for him. That was a, an act of compassion on a friend and someone he cared for. Someone he thought, maybe, but for the grace of God, there go I. M maybe he thought that. In any case, he, he had compassion on him enough to pay the penalty for him. That's an image, a picture of that story of the relationship between God and Jesus and us. This whole question of sin. Sin is not something necessarily that we do wrong. Sin is an inherited condition that we all have. It's called original sin. It's something we're born with. We have the inability to be perfect. And we all know that, don't we? Because of that, we are imperfect in God's sight. He loves us, he wants the best for us, but we are imperfect. We do things that are wrong. We say and think things that are wrong because in our heart of hearts, we're not perfect people. Somehow God had to reconcile that, had to bring that together. And the way he did it was by sending someone very precious to him, his very own son, to pay the penalty for our sin, our wrongdoing, just like the judge did for that man. Jesus went to the cross, died a painful death as a substitute for us. Now that takes a lot of getting our head around what all that means. And it's really only understood more fully as we go to church and read the Bible and talk to other people and get involved in the Christian faith. But we can know, sure as anything, that Jesus paid the price for us. He went to the cross for our sake. He took the penalty upon himself. And that great act of charity, that great act of kindness, does something for us. It puts us in a right position before God. It's called righteousness, being right in the sight of God our Father. And because of what Jesus has done, we can have that right relationship with God. This is all summed up in a verse in the letter <coughs> that Paul wrote to the Corinthians. It was the second letter, so 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 21. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. God made him, Jesus, who had no sin, Jesus was perfect, he did nothing wrong, to be sin, to take our sin upon himself, so that we might be right with God our Father. It's very simple in one sense. It's very complicated and complex in another sense. But I encourage you to look at it and read it and understand it for yourself. Perhaps for the first time, perhaps for the umpteenth time. But it never does any harm to look at it again. Bye for now.